You should see this. Something is going on at the school. Tyre's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's Anderson, we need it. Bandits are inside. I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately.
saw Tahir at the school. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. What the hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed some survivors right in front of us. Nearly saw us. Time to sneak into that building. I hope there's some antizen in there somewhere. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice.
Jade, no luck with any answers in. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there.
hand here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. But right now, let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed, and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Crane, you're dealing with Rise, aren't you? You're the one who volunteered. Guilty as charged. Something I can do for you? I believe I can provide some context. You may find it useful. You may not. Okay, lay it on me. I did not witness this firsthand, so take it as hearsay if you want. But it involves his brother, Hassan. I know about Hassan. He died, right? And Rice blames the GRE? He is right, too. Hassan was confined to a wheelchair, and he was the only person in the world Rice cared about. Hassan acted as a tempering influence on his brother. Where Rais wanted to go to war, Hassan convinced him to seek peace. And when the outbreak happened, Rais demanded that the GRE evacuate Hassan first and foremost. And they didn't. There was political infighting. Because of the ministry, the GRE dragged their feet. And Hassan died in a zombie attack. The GRE could have removed him from harm's way immediately. They elected not to. And now Ryze has lost his moral compass, free to inflict his brand of sadistic lunacy on the populace of Haran. So Ryze's beef with the GRE, you're saying he's justified? I do not excuse him. He's a vicious gangster, a blight on this city. I merely wanted to help you understand the enemy you will surely face. Well, understood. Thanks. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Was well, it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the Volatile Hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it.
Ukraine. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antizen, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go. And now it's possible, but, but if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus-pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there.
What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge.
Carlos, we are forced to communicate with you directly. You are ordered to come immediately. This is Crane. Is that you, Torga? your chunk of zombie guts.
Putain, I thought I was a goner. Thank you, man. As long as we're here. Somebody's in the school. Our scouts spotted people entering the building. Ah, uh, Crane. Come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Camden about you. Hello, Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I'd wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here, and a reserve vial of... Oh, my word. This tissue, it's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dose the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment. But we have no way to get the research to him. You can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Crane, getting from there to here would be insanely dangerous. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do.